Before we jump right into it, I ask that you consider subscribing. It seems that 99.5% of all my viewers aren't subscribed. If you like the content and want to see more car videos, subscribe and hit the little bell icon. I don't do boring vlog style videos that last over 10 minutes just for ad revenue. I get right into it and make videos in hopes that you learn something new. So consider subscribing. It's free. Yo, hey guys, it's me again, and today I'm going to show you how I dip my Mustang using a custom blend of Penny Copper on top of a Panther Pink base color. Now, for a while, you guys would know that I've been wanting to plastic dip my Mustang because of how ugly the mismatched bumper looked on the car. I'm pretty sure people were out there thinking that I got some Copart Special Rebuilt Salvage Repo Mustang because of the yellow bumper, so I decided no longer am I going to be disrespected by passerbys in their generic Costco grocery getting compact utility vehicles. I would have resprayed the bumper ruby red so that it would match the rest of the car, but I got quoted like a thousand bucks for it because it's a tri-coat color. Not to mention if I did spray it ruby red, it would still blend in with all the other Mustangs out there. I tried to look for trades for a ruby red bumper by posting an ad on Facebook Marketplace in hopes of trading my twister orange bumper and matching trunk for a ruby red bumper, but all I got were dudes asking me in Spanish how much it costs. So what I went ahead and did was go the budget method and decided to change the color of my car entirely. Now I'm very familiar with Plastidip as I've sprayed my whole BMW using a kit from dipyourcar.com. I also had good results using aerosol cans to Plastidip brake calipers, mirror caps and other things. Now some people might say that Plastidip is just a poor man's vinyl wrapping, but I think it is actually better because all of the combinations of colors you can make by experimenting on your own. Now I don't know about you all, but I just about watch every DipYourCar.com video where they experiment with different pearls and different base colors. My BMW is just a regular Bonita blue car kit, but for my Mustang I wanted something that was unique and very eye-catching. Every Black Friday, DipYourCar.com has a sale where literally everything is discounted like 20% off, so I went browsing through all the colors and pearls. The color that really caught my eye was Panther Pink, not because it's a Barbie color or because it isn't featured on, like, on any DYC video on YouTube, but because it was the cheapest base color in stock. 42 bucks a gallon is like almost half the price of all the other colors, so I knew I had to choose it. Now for the pearl that would go in the glossy top coat. And for the same reason, I chose Penny Copper as it was already marked down in price. I used a color mixing website to mix up how the Penny Copper would look on top of the Panther Pink. The website said it would look like a salmon color, so I immediately thought of the Porsche color that was called Salmon Metallic. Now did the end result look like Salmon Metallic? Well, not really. Keep watching till the end to see what I'm talking about. But I bought 3 gallons of Panther Pink and 2 gallons of Glossy Top Coat along with 2 bags of 25 gram Penny Copper Pearls. I went ahead and washed the car the night before and prepped the whole thing after we finally got some warm, not windy weather. In total, the supplies only costed me like 350 bucks, which is insanely good considering each gallon of Gloss Clear is like 100 bucks each. And after literally 15 hours and like 9 full coats later, this is what came out of this rather expensive science experiment. My arm was dead from carrying the sprayer for hours upon hours, and I now finally realize why Fonzie from DipYourCar.com has some massive arms. I really only messed up on the last coat over the hood, and you can see very small tiger stripes, but I'm not really concerned because I'll be getting racing stripes to cover it soon anyway. The final result looked a bit different from what I thought it was going to look like. I thought the panther pink was really going to show through the pearl, but it really didn't. The penny copper isn't really that copper colored and is more of a gold color. Only under the sunlight is when it looks copper and looks like the salmon metallic color I thought it was going to look like. But under regular lighting, it really just looks like a rose gold peach color. Honestly, it came out a lot nicer than I thought it was. I really thought it was going to be a darker shade because panther pink is more of a dark, hot pink color, but I guess the penny copper just overpowers the panther pink. I can literally see my car from like a mile away walking back from school, and I've never seen another car, not even online, look this exact color. Everything else online is either too pink or too orange, and this is right in the middle. 
Let me tell you guys, I get looks from literally everyone driving by. It's awesome. But for some reason, the looks are more at me rather than the car, which is also weird. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like and sub for more car videos. I guess that's about it for this video. See you guys later. Peace.